Hi YouTube, it's me Sharian. I know I have been away for a while. I have had a lot going on and <clears throat> it has just been crazy in my world. So, um, initially I was supposed to be on vacation. Well, I was on vacation um, from the 23rd. I returned on January the 3rd. And I had all these great plans about how I was going to record all these videos, but you know, truly, I had worked so much that when it was time for me to not work, I also did not want to do anything else. So, um, I didn't make a lot of videos. As a matter of fact, I didn't make any videos. <laughs> this is my first one, and I really shouldn't be making this one because I feel awful. I probably sound horrible. I think I have the flu, um, but I have been getting a couple of messages about... You know, me not making any videos, Want people want to know what's going on. So, I'm here with, like, a whole bunch of updates and everything. So, this is going to be a long video. I hope not too long, but... <clears throat> so, first things first, I did get out of credit card debt on November 30th. My last my payment of $884 on my Visa card. Um... And that balance, I had a $3,000 balance, and I paid it off. The total for the month of November to pay the card off was like $1,024. But I made the last payment of $884. In December, um, I did absolutely nothing. I didn't pay off any debts. I did fully fund my emergency fund. And I did Christmas shopping, although that was a lot of that was cash flow because I saved money throughout the year. Um, I was tired of paying debt, so I didn't. As a matter of fact, I took all the money that I did make in December, which was a total of like six thousand dollars. I paid off. I paid the bills. I um, I didn't have any new credit cards, and I took me and family to see LeBron James play in Charlotte, North Carolina. They, they played the Hornets. We had great seats, and I may try to add some of that um, footage in over in the corner right here so you could just see how great the seats were. Um, I paid I paid a decent price for the seats that I wanted, um, but it was so worth it. My kids having that experience, you know, they sacrificed as much as I did trying to get out of credit card debt this year, and I felt like that was something we deserved to give ourselves. Um... I don't feel any guilt about it. And I think I needed that break from paying, you know, paying off debt and sacrificing so much. So that brings me to December. Um, and for the new year, I don't really have a whole lot of goals um, or resolutions. My main thing, my theme for 2017 is collect memories, not things. So that is my theme theme for 2017 um my only resolutions i still want to lose about 10 pounds um i don't have a plan for that yet but that is my only resolution as far as financial goes for 2017 i would like to pay off my car i currently owe 14 about fourteen thousand dollars um and I'm hoping to get that paid. I don't have a plan for that yet either. I have uh, I do. my, like I said, my emergency fund is funded. I am still doing my Christmas fund. And I think I'm going to do a car fund. I am, it's not I think. I am going to do a car sinking fund just because of that tragedy I had back in November where I had to um, buy tires out of my emergency fund. So I'm going to start a sinking fund. I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and start it now and have it fully funded by the summer or if I'm going to wait till after the summer and have it funded by the time it's time for me to um, do registration and all of that stuff. Um, And that is really about it. Like, there's nothing really significant going on in my life right now. Now that I have paid off those credit cards, I do feel... um like a weight lifted off my shoulder. I haven't decided if I'm going to stop using credit cards altogether yep. or now. I will do a video with the actual numbers of debt um, that I plan to get out of this year. I want to say last time I looked in November or October, 
I was sending maybe like twenty one thousand dollars, and I put I didn't put any more thought into it because that number was so overwhelming. Because I had ten thousand dollars of credit card debt, and it took me eleven months to pay it off. So to think about how hard I would have to work and how much sacrifice and I would have to do to pay off twenty one thousand dollars became so overwhelming that I didn't even look at it again. So, <clears throat> um. I'm going to I'll do videos with those types of updates. As far as everything else, you know, there's nothing really big going on. I am still working all three jobs. I'm still in training for the most recent one. After I get out of training, I only have to do one shift a month. Um, and I'll try to just do maybe two, um, two shifts a month because that extra money will really help out in getting us where we want to be financially. Um... I have already started to think about what I want to do with my income tax money if I get some this year, um, which is really pay off debt. But again, my theme is collect memories, not things. So we probably will do something. I really want to do something with nature. Um, I have a couple of more places. Now that I'm out of credit card debt and I have um, freed up a lot of income, I really want to take a lot of trips like my ambition behind getting out of debt was so that I could travel. It's not necessary. I do eventually not want to work, but I'm fine with working if I can go where I want to go. So um, that was a lot of my ambition behind getting out of debt. And to see the face, the expression on my kid's face when they realized we were going to see LeBron James pay was like so worth it. And I really got pumped up to commit to making paying off my car a goal for 2017 and I cannot wait to when we can do different things like go to Niagara Falls and take my son to Legoland and do all of that stuff without racking up additional debt so um that is my ambition behind getting out of debt is so that I can truly enjoy life and I know what. Um, what really interests me is to travel and have experiences. I'm, um, I'm really into what can I experience. So, um, that is where I am. Like I said, I'll do another video about crunching the numbers, um, and letting you guys know what my plan is. I am still doing my budget the way I budget. <clears throat> And I don't know if I've actually shared that, so I may do that. And tell me how the how was the end of your 2016 and how did it shape your goals for 2017 and what are your goals for 2017? As a matter of fact, make yourself a video sharing that information if y'all haven't already because I haven't been on YouTube in like a week. Um, and tag yourself into it. Uh, I look forward to watching all of it. I look forward to your comments and you guys have, I hope you had a wonderful new year and you enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for watching.